Welcome back with us right now is Becky Jackson and she is here to tell us about well one of them is the Transportation Awareness Day coming up but also well waste management <laughs> is our trash <laughs> company but we're really going to talk about bulky autumn pickup and that sort of thing. Welcome. Thank you. Nice Thank to you have so you much for today. having me here. <clears throat> so. so you sent us some slides and I'm going to apologize because my, my throat's a little raw today. Um, so I'm going to let you just go ahead and talk and um, <clears throat> tell us about the Awareness Day coming up. Okay, so Transportation Awareness Day is on Friday, November 17th, and it's going to run from 10 to 1. Uh, it's going to be over at Clubhouse 5. We're going to have our bus buddy volunteers there helping register people in or check people in. So if you do plan on attending as a resident, I would encourage you to bring your resident ID card so we could just slide you in very uh, efficiently. Also, we're going to be handing out some swag. We have bags and um, okay. lanyards and, and whatnot. We're going to have uh, several vendors there as well. Mm -hmm. Our platinum, uh, platinum sponsor is Waste, Waste Management, and uh, they're providing the food for us. Okay, very good. And we've been seeing some of the sponsors up here. <clears throat> now, um, the time on this, it's going to be uh, from 10 until 1, correct? Correct, yeah. So it's it's really exciting event. Um, a lot <coughs> of things people don't know about public transportation. We're going to have OCTA there, Agewell. Agewell <coughs> is partnering with the Florence Sylvester Senior Center, and um, it'll be ways of getting information. You know, a lot of the residents don't really know what's out there aside from our our in-house transportation services. So we want to make sure that they're empowered with information. Okay. All right. Very good. And. Yeah, it goes well, well beyond just our bus system here. Right. And we want to talk about um, also that you have different speakers. You can have a raffle and a bus system presentation, <clears throat> the raffle from El Toro Pharmacy, White Rose Limo. Mm -hmm. So all kinds of different things. And um, also one of the things you're going to talk about is the planner ride, right? Right. And with Thanksgiving coming up, you want to touch on that. Yeah, so uh, we want to encourage <coughs> residents to go ahead and plan their ride. And we're going to have Thursday, uh, November th 23rd. Okay. And also uh, Friday, November 24th. And then, the, of course, the following Sunday, uh, November 26th. So they're going to need oh, to right. plan rides. Uh, these are the, the Thursday and the Friday are VMS holidays. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> and then of course the Sunday is our regular okay. plan a ride day. So plan ahead. Plan ahead, yes. Try to get that, try to get that Hence coordinated. <laughs> plan yes. a ride, plan ahead. And of course the phone number uh, is, we have a, our hotline for the plan a ride and that's 268-2590. Okay. I want to let people know that <clears throat> they're going to leave voicemail message so they're going to want to leave their name their full address where they're going the time of the trip and any return trip that they're going to make any assisted walking devices so we can make the accommodations for that okay um <clears throat> so with that we uh want to encourage people just to plan right also another thing is is that if people uh forget to do that they could also contact the transportation line okay. uh, the day of it just won't <clears throat> be at the time that the resident specifies it'll be when the next uh, available train right is. exactly yeah so that would be the regular transportation line the 597-4659 okay very good now something else to talk about is bulky item pickup right right so, that's where waste management comes in. Yes, waste management. So bulky item pickup, uh, we did some cleaning of some of the carports just recently, but also mm -hmm. uh, you want to contact resident services and any bulky items would be furniture, uh, large appliances. Uh, you want to make sure not to leave those by the, the trash bins that we offer that service to come right. pick it up. And you have <laughs> up to two per year. Oh, okay. Yeah. Two yeah. per year. Two per year where okay. you can uh, have someone come in and pick it up and dispose and of it. And let me you. ask you, uh, you've talked about this before, they can come into the manor to get it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I mean, don't do the heavy lifting. Let us do that for you. <clears throat> That's what we're here for. Okay. So. What if they, another time during the year, they need assistance with that or need help? Uh, can they do that and pay for it? How, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, they would just contact resident services and make those arrangements with them. Okay. So, so that can be done. Yeah. All right. So uh, again, um, 
you are going to be expanding Plan a Ride. You Correct. talked about this before, but you didn't know. It's more official now. Yeah, and that's going to be happening January second, correct? Yeah, as of January second, <coughs> we're going to do both Saturday and Sunday plan a ride. And what we want to really uh, let residents know: this is not about cutting back services, but this is offering more efficient services. Okay. Just like you would call a cab or Uber, you just make that arrangement ahead of time, and we could uh, we could accommodate. Okay, very good. Hey, let me ask you along those lines. Because uh, I know people have asked that before. What if somebody wants to find to get a ride with Uber or Lyft? Yeah, they can arrange that at the gates. They can. Um, okay. So you <clears> just <throat> contact uh, you contact Uber Lyft. You know that's done on your smartphone. Right. And so yeah. Okay. Because I know people have asked about that before. Yeah. More, and more people are using service like that to to get beyond this area. And it, and it's. <clears throat> pretty inexpensive. It is. Uber and Lyft is, is very inexpensive. You get, uh, you can make your plan right there and then. You just need your smartphone and you could even yeah. watch the car coming towards you. Yes, you, you can. <laughs> All right, very good. So the Transportation Awareness Day is happening at Clubhouse 5 this Friday at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So uh, join them. And people can come in and out. They can. Uh, we're going to have food. We're yeah. going to have the presentations. Uh, one of the raffle <clears throat> prizes. Well, actually, a couple of them. Uh, El Toro Pharmacy is offering a little shopping cart. Mm -hmm. And uh, White Rose Limo is doing a three hour limo tour. But um, even if you are a part of a club or a club president, right. White Rose is going to feature a lot of their. Their buses. Oh, nice! So they could, they could. That's a very good. That's yeah, a very good point. Yeah, because we're unable to provide <clears throat> those services, and we want to make sure that the clubs come in and, and check this out because yeah. they will get a deal being a Laguna Woods Village. That's resident. a very good point. <laughs> uh, you know, some clubs can get those smaller. Well, actually, you would think of it as a larger limo, but not a full size bus. Right. It's, and, I think yeah. it's a forty passenger bus. Yeah. So and that's a very good, very good way to go. Some, nice. Yeah. And of course, you're doing this uh, partly in memory of. Of Danny Denise Welch. and uh, Denise Welch, who used to do this, right? She, put the, she was the originator. She of started it in 2003. Wow! Yeah, wow. and and so we do want to make uh, some mention about Denny. She's just an amazing woman. Really did a lot for the residents here, and so we do have a little feature of her on our brochure. All right, very good. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Uh, Friday, Clubhouse Five, ten o'clock. Don't forget. We'll be back. <laughs> oh man, sorry about that. Thank <laughs> you.